It's Miss Kim. Today we are going to be drawing a bunny rabbit and which has been requested by Miss Sadie Snowden and uh, afterwards we're going to sing a song with facts about the bunny rabbit. So I've been listening to everybody's feedback and I'm trying to make this as linear and easily accessible as possible. Today we will be using colored pencils to do a quick line drawing and then we will be shading. You will have the option of whether you would like to shade with us or not. Um, I want everyone to be excited and happy about artwork and um, what they are creating. And I appreciate everyone sending me drawings of their artwork from the show. It looks amazing. Hey Jay, it looks amazing. And I'm so excited for what we are about today because we are going to be drawing a bunny and it's gonna be super, super cute. So today, I'm starting with a colored pencil. It's a black colored pencil, but I also have some other colors. And you can choose whatever colors you want. We will get to these a little bit later in the show. So I have a white and I have a light pink and I have a couple colors of brown. We have a dark brown, medium brown, and a light brown. So let's get right to it, shall we? Hi, Kira. All right, so just like last time with the bearded dragon, we're gonna use this black colored pencil. <laughs> Could you hear Baxter barking, Kara? <laughs> um, and we're gonna start by drawing the eye. So the eye is going to be most of a circle. We're gonna start with a circle. Hey, Shay. Shay butter. Um, we're gonna do most of a circle, but then at the bottom, we're gonna stop because that's where the eye is going to sit on the face. So this is going to be more of a straight line here. And then just like last week with the bearded dragon, we're going to create little circles inside the big circle for where the light reflects inside the eye of the rabbit. And if you look at your eyes sometime, you can see that this happens with humans too. Pretty much any animal with eyeballs, you're gonna have light reflecting from it. And then it can show up on the piece of paper with little circles. So here we have a big circle, a few little circles that are gonna stay white because that's where the light is reflected. And then we're gonna draw a smaller circle again inside the bigger circle and we'll come back and fill that in later. So that's the start of the eye with the bunny. Just like with the bearded dragon last week, we're going to figure out how the eye sits in the face. So we're gonna draw a few little lines outside of the circle that is the eye of the bunny. Just like that. And then we're gonna take it a little further out. We're gonna go a little bit further and draw some more lines and we can make them really light if we want because we can come back and shade them afterwards. We're going to draw some more lines to show just how this eye is sitting on the bunny's face. So we have a straight line right underneath and then it's kind of like a cup like so if you cupped your hand right if you cupped your hand that's kind of the line that we're gonna draw underneath the bunny's eye here. And then if you cup your hand the other way like that, we're gonna do that on top of the eye of the bunny as well. Good job. What's great about the lines on the face of the bunny by the eye is that it helps us determine how far away the nose is going to be. So with the nose, we're going to draw kind of a U shape. And that's going to be the base of the nose. So just a simple kind of a U, just like that. And then we're going to draw a line down the center of that U. And the line's going to keep going down a little bit, down a little bit because we're, that's where the bunny's mouth is going to start. 
let's come back up to this little line that we drew in between the U. We're going to connect this line to this line and we're going to do it with a little bit of a curve. So just like that on one side and like that on the other side. So it almost looks like a little plant sprout coming up out of the ground, except that it's a bunny's nose. So next up, we are going to draw the first line of the mouth. So we're going to start from right here, move sideways a little bit, and then come all the way down, just like that. This is going to help us draw the bunny's snout. Does the bunny have a long snout or a short snout? I guess your bunny could have a long or a short snout. It's totally up to you. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, but shorter. Because this side of the bunny is closer to us. And this side of the bunny kind of gets obscured a little bit. So this is going to be a little longer. And then we're going to come back and do some circular lines to lay out where the cheeks of the bunny are. Because a bunny is so cute, you want to just pinch its cheeks. And again, these can be very light lines. So everything that we're doing over here on this side of the bunny's face is going to be duplicated or mimicked or done again on this side. So these lines are pretty much even. All right, so this line comes down to about here. So we're gonna continue on this side and bring this line down as well, just like that. And then we're gonna come back to where this little line meets the mouth lines And we're going to draw a little curved line because that's going to be the bunny's mouth. And in this picture, we're not seeing the bunny's teeth, but they are there. So that's going to be the mouth of the bunny. Now, we're going to take this line with the cheek and we're going to kind of pop it up and over the nose of the bunny. And then we're going to keep going and it doesn't have to be just one line. You can stop and you can make shorter lines. And then we're going to keep on going and bring it up over the eye and make sure we give the eye enough space because we need to make sure that the bunny has enough space for its cute bunny brain. So we're going to bring this up over the eye and then bring it down the other side. Just like that. Right now it kind of looks like a walrus a little bit, not a bunny, huh? That's okay. Because art doesn't have to look good while you're working on it. Art is a process. All right. So from right here at the top of the face, above the eye of the bunny, we are going to be starting with the ear. So with one ear, we're going to come up a little bit with a line. And then we're going to move towards the ear or towards the nose of the bunny. So we're going to move that way on the piece of paper. And we're going to come up, 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 up. Make a little circle at the end. And then come back down, thin, thin, thin. Close. These lines are close to each other. And then these lines are going to get fat and away from each other. And bring it back down to the top of the head. So this is the outside of the bunny ear. And we can darken that. You don't have to, but I'm going to right here. And then we're going to draw the inside of the bunny ear. So we're going to start from the top of this line here. And we're going to, again, just try to mirror the waves of this line, but just over a little bit. So then we have the inside of the bunny's ear. All right. 
Now, do bunnies just have one ear typically, or do they have two ears? How many ears does a bunny usually have? I'm going to go with two. So then we need to draw another ear. So from this line with this ear, we're going to make a little bit of a space, just like that. And you can tell too, the space, um, the space between the ears is sort of as, as wide as the eye on the bunny. So that can be a good measure for you. So we're going to take this space and we're going to draw up. And with these lines, we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to go away from the nose. So we're going to come up, 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 up. And it's going to be a little bit of a curve, just like the other ear. But it's going to be a little bit different in how it looks because of the way the bunny is positioned. All right, so we came up. And then we're going to draw over and then come back down. Good. Nice work. Now, this is the outside of the bunny ear. So we're going to go back and draw the inside of the bunny's ear. We're going to start from the bottom here where we drew our last line. We're going to come up and this area is going to be thicker just like this is here. So this area of the ear is thicker and then this bottom area is thicker and then as they go up, as the lines go up, they get thinner and thinner so they get closer to each other as they're going up and around the ear. And then once we get back to the bottom here, everything becomes a little bit thicker again. Okay, so we are getting there. What is next, you ask? So, we're gonna do the rest of the bunny's face. We're gonna start at this bottom line here. And they can be, the line can be a little bit jagged because the bunny is very furry. So I'm gonna draw just a little bit like fur lines so we're going to come back down like this and we're going to connect this line here and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to come here with this line at the bottom. We can make the lines a little bit furry if we want and then we're going to make two lines here because in the picture that I'm looking at, the bunny is looking up. So we have this line here, this line here, and then we're going to use this line to connect so we can finish out the rest of the bunny's head. And then we will move on to the body of the bunny, which is going to be much simpler than the head of the bunny because there's so much going on with the head of the bunny and then the, the body of the bunny is a little bit easier. So to connect the body to the head of the bunny, we're going to start where these lines are and we're just going to mirror the, this line here and it's going to come out almost as far as the bunny's head here. And we're going to just bring it all the way down to the bottom of the page. Nice work. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to start where the bottom of the head of the bunny. And then we're just going to draw sort of a curved line. Where we're going to go further out as we go. And then straight down. Nice. And then underneath where the chin is on the bunny, we're going to draw just a few accent lines. Because that'll help us reference where to shade when we get to the shading part, which is coming up here soon. <clears throat> All right, nice work. So now for my, so now we have the outline of a bunny rabbit. What did we forget? We forgot whiskers, didn't we? 
Well, tell you what, that'll be the last thing that we add before we go to song today. So stick with us, okay? So I'm gonna come back to the eye for coloring because that's where we started with drawing. So the small circle inside the eye, the pupil is going to get colored in. I'm gonna color it in with black because that's the darkest part of the eye. And the rest, we can still use some black in here, but we can press a little lighter. We can press a little lighter because then it won't show up as dark as the center of the eye. We can also use black to color in the nose a little bit. And do some a little bit of shading around the nose. And then if we want to make a little bit of space from under the nose, leave a little bit of, of blank area there. And then we're going to just do a little bit of shading around the mouth of the bunny as well. And right now we're still using the black colored pencil, but we're going to switch to color here in a little bit. Perfect. And these are just light lines because we're just going in very lightly and coloring our line drawing of a bunny. And then the mouth is a little bit darker as well. So we're going to make this part darker and we're going to shade underneath the mouth of the bunny, underneath the mouth, around the chin. Good job. And then my favorite, there's always more contrast. Everything's always a little bit darker underneath the chin of the animal. Because no matter where the light source, unless the light is coming up from the ground, which I guess could happen, but it would be rare. Underneath the chin is always going to be a little bit darker. And it's like that with humans too. So watch your mom and dad sometime. If they're telling you um, a story or they're reading you a story or if they're talking to you, notice how underneath their chin, it looks a little bit darker than say their forehead. That is because more light is hitting the forehead and the face than it is underneath the chin and the neck. And really with shading, all I'm doing is moving the pencil back and forth a little bit. And then if I want to get lighter, just lighten up on how much you're pressing down. And if I want to be very dark, you just press down much harder and then you can lighten and lighten as you go. And then you can get darker. You just press down a little bit more. So it's very, very easy to accomplish a really, really nice effect with shading. And let's add a little bit up on these ears as well. We're adding shading on the ears around the inside of the ear. So this is on the outside of the ear and we're sort of making a circle around the outside of those ears. All right, so let's start in with a different color brown, if I can get a hold of these pencils. Okay, so we're gonna start going over what we have colored just a little bit with a nice medium brown. And it's gonna start darker by the nose. And then as we get further away from the nose, it's going to get lighter. So remember, we're gonna press down hard around the nose and then lighten up, lighten the pressure on the pencil as we get further away. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side because we're mirroring. So darker by the nose and the mouth and then a little bit lighter
as we come away from that. Very nice. Let's go back up to these ears, get some color on the ears. And again, this is just back and forth, really simple lines. So it's going to be it's going to be good for anyone of any age. Because all I'm doing is literally scribbling back and forth, very close with lines very close together. And we're going to come and do this on the other ear. <clears throat> Very nice. Now let's detail, detail these eye, this eye area a little bit, right? So we have where the mouth and the nose of the bunny are. And so we're going to take this color and we're going to sort of connect the two. So where this color started here by the little bunny nose, we're going to take that color and we're going to bring it all the way out to where the eye sits. Very, very nice. We can even color in the eye brown because bunnies do have brown eyes, although your bunny can have any color eye it would like. There are no wrong answers in art. Very, very good. All right. And then because this is behind the eye a little bit, we're going to make this area a little bit darker as well. Now this right here is where the cheek ends for the bunny. So it ends up being a little bit more of a contrast. So we're going to darken the color here and then we're going to go on the other side because both sides are the same. They're just at different angles. Very nice. And then another great trick is if you're running out of time <clears throat> or if you only have like a little bit of time to start with, you can lightly shade all the way around the outside of any object that you're drawing and it's going to make it look very professional and very nice. So let's do a little bit of shading around the outside of the whole bunny. And then we can come in darker as well underneath here. And we could just make big, messy pencil strokes like that just to cover a large area in a shorter amount of time. Now let's get to a really fun part because this is one of my, my favorite colors to work with. We're going to do pink and we're going to come up to the first bunny ear and we're again we're just going to do really quick shading and just color in the ear there and then we're going to go to the other side. Why? Because both ears are going to be pink in the drawing today. And do you see how quick this is? I know that you can do this fast as well because it's just sort of holding the pencil at an angle and drawing quick lines back and forth. There we go. All right, and let's bring in this lightest brown really quick. We're gonna wrap up here in a minute. So I promised you whiskers so let's get just a general color over everything really, really quick. We can go in really lightly. Thanks, Jeb. <laughs> Did you make a drawing today?
What Miss Kim didn't realize is this is more of a pastel pencil, but that's okay. Again, this is a request by Miss Sadie Snowden. So if you've enjoyed drawing the bunny today, just give her a little shout out. Say thanks, Sadie. I'm going to come down and detail out the bunny. Very nice. And let's get in some whiskers, shall we? So the whiskers are going to start on the cheeks of the bunny and you can draw little lines or draw little um, marks to sort of measure them out if you'd like or you can just, I start from the outside going in, it's just easier. You can do either one, you can start from here or you can start from here. <clears throat> and I'm just drawing in little curved lines that go all the way down but they're all starting from this area. So the whiskers start from these areas and they end up all over the place, but they're both, they're all starting. They're all starting from the same area on the face of the bunny. That pencil is not working very well, so I'm gonna switch back over. All right, and then there we go. We have today's bunny rabbit, and we are going to sing a song about him. Give me one second. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me to draw a photo of, um, draw a picture of a bunny rabbit today. We're gonna sing a song about our uh, awesome cotton-tailed friend. Hibbity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Ooh 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 ooh. Hibbity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Running for you. Hibbity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Ooh ooh. How are not gonna stop it? Running for you. I'm a mammal with a fluffy short tail, bigger than a beetle, smaller than a whale. I'm a herbivore, which means I eat plants. So if you have broccoli for dinner, you know that there may be a chance I can show up as far away from you. And maybe if I'm lucky, I can have a carrot or two. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Coming for you. Not gonna stop it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Running for you. I am so show. Living groups called colonies. I'll be out at dusk and dawn or just a grazing near trees. Gotta hide out. Big bird thing, Tommy. I've long legs and I move so fast. I'll run them, try to keep up. It's a chase that won't last. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Running for you. Hippity, not gonna stop it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Running for you. Baby rabbits, they're called kids, you know. Can you imagine they probably? Burrows to move underground. Can you imagine hopping in the dark to get around? Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Oh, 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 oh. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Running for you. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Oh, oh, oh. Hippity hoppity, not gonna stop it. Running for you. Thank you guys. I'll see you on Friday.